Hey guys, Bot2025 here, playing some Arbiter. I'm just going to really quickly get this sucker set up. L 9.1 L 500 L 300 Removing the service tower. So yeah, kind of like my this is like my SpaceX series. So yeah, we have liftoff of Falcon 1. Let's hope this goes better than my previous two tests. I think I'll post those. Because it <laughs> I think it was quite interesting. Considering it was I think how many? Two success and three failures. So yeah, yeah, Max Q or Vico going supersonic, I don't know. So I'll give you a few stats of the Saturn V. Its function is an orbital launch vehicle, you can guess that. It's made by SpaceX. Don't where's the logo? As you can see here, it's obviously American. Now a bit of the size. Its height is 21.3 meters or 70 feet for all the non-metric system users. I use the metric system. You know, don't be telling me like, oh you should go to like if something and like if you're going to ask me something don't ask me in feet I don't understand feet anyway and the diameter is 1.7 meters which is 5.5 feet I'm only two inches no not yeah two inches shorter than the diameter of the Falcon 1 I'm doing this real time its mass is, is 38.555 kg so 38.555 tons. Oh, we have Miko. Stage step. Engine ignition. Now, in this, unlike real life, they reuse that stage using a parachute. But anyway, so it weighs 85,000 pounds. And two stages can carry. It demonstrates 180 kilograms into orbit and it proposed 670 kilograms to orbit. To low to LEO and proposed 43 430 to SSO, which is a sun synchronous orbit. I have no clue what that is. What's this? I have no clue what a sun synchronous orbit is or heliosynchronous. And that's basically all you need to know. I also, thought it's being retired, you can't pop down to Omelette Island and watch Falcon launch. Falcon 1 has been replaced by Falcon 9. And you can see why out of the 5 launches, 2 succeeded and 3 failed. You can see the launch site there. But you can barely see it, but you can see it. And there were no partial failures. If this fails, it's going to fail. Okay, so. The first flight was 24th of March 2006. Lift off 2230G MT. That's what was the 14th of July 2009. Lift off 335 GMT. It has a Merlin 1C on the first end, and this is the Kestrel engine. This was a burn time of 378 seconds, but we have kind of, we can adjust that. Because then we should, well actually, mm, second, I'm doing a bit of math. Three, six, nine. Three eight, three eight seven. Three eight seven. Four three seven. Four four seven. Nothing on one hundred forty seven seconds. 
see it pitching up. I disabled the joystick for this because it just ends up being weird. Both of the stages use RP1 and liquid oxygen. It was used to minimize price per and for lower to orbit sats. Oh, oh no. Nope. <laughs> that's a bad idea. Again, Tor, we'll ditch that. We'll just say that's a. That's something to carry science experiments into orbit, like small experiments. I need to search something. Oh, wait, what? Hmm. Alright, first three launches failed. So the first flight, the DARPA, it was for DARPA, it's Falcon Sat 2. End inferior T plus 33 seconds loss of vehicle. Okay, so. So, right, successful first stage burn transition to second stage maximum altitude 289 kilometers. Harmonic oscillation at T plus 5 minutes. Premature engine shut down T plus 7 minutes 30. Failed to reach orbit, failed to recover first stage. Claim to be partial success to gather data for gathered enough data for operation and flight. Next one it had um Trailblazer preset nano sail and explorers. It was a failure. The residue of stage one trust led to collision between stage one and stage two. And then initial yeah, it just <laughs> At that point, they said, no, let's not put an actual payload on this, and it succeeded. And the last one was the same. And they were supposed to, at TBD, um, it was to be the maiden flight of the 1E configuration of the Falcon. It was the O2G Orbcom, which is it was switched to a Falcon 9, which I also have. I have that particular mission. Let's check when it was launched. Oh, never mind, it launched. First one was launched on an um, Orion 4. So we a Pegasus, another Pegasus, another Pegasus, another Pegasus, a Taurus, a Pegasus, a Pegasus, a Pegasus, a Cosmos 3M. PSLV CA, Long March 4B, Falcon 9B 1.0, Falcon 9B 1.1. Yay! Okay. I was going to tanks. Yeah, we should have shut down soon. We should have shut down. Oh, I knew it. So we'll just send that off to do probe things. No. Let's see. Let's just see the first stage descent. Oh boy, <laughs> descending via parachute. It is flip flap, flip flap, flip flap. My God, it's like wobbling all over the place. Yeah, waiting for first stage touchdown. I'm going to use that because I know that's the interstate. I'm going to presume that's some kind of cover. Wait a second. We always. Like, this is the second time which I've seen a landing. Oh no, didn't land on top. And it just lies down. Parachutes turn into sheets of paper. Let's say they turn into sheets of paper. And yep. That's it. Falcon 1.